In this microsode, I'm going to briefly describe how you group and ungroup objects and why that's useful uh, using Inkscape. So first we'll create uh, a series of objects, maybe a rectangle, uh, some text, bring that a bit bigger, star, different color maybe, and uh, I don't know, any ob arbitrary objects, okay, spiral. Now, uh, so how we group objects is basically select the objects, uh, first select the objects you want to be uh, grouping together. So you can, you know, hold shift and select them, single click each of them, or you can just window them all. Uh, and then you basically go to object group, okay, or control G. And you see now it's one big selection. And it tells you at the bottom when that's selected, this is a group of four objects in layer one. Okay. Now, the benefit is that now we can move all these objects together. Okay. We can scale them all at once. Uh, we can stretch them all at once. They are, in effect, a single object that can be manipulated. We can rotate them. So you can see the benefit once you create a bunch of separate objects, how grouping them together might be useful. Now, uh, to ungroup them, we take our grouped set of objects and we simply have it selected and say object ungroup. And it goes back into its consti constituent objects. Okay. Now, uh, a couple things to watch out for. Uh, you can actually, uh, if we group them together, again here, group, you can actually ungroup them uh, quickly by uh, just double clicking on it. So if I double click, you'll see now they're all separate objects again. Okay. So if we group them again, you have to be careful not to double click this if you want it to remain as a group. Another thing to watch out for is if you have a set of grouped objects and you go to change the color, um, right now it'll show you this question mark it's unset, meaning they all have different, for instance, they all have different fills. If you try to arbitrarily set the fill uh, to some color, then all the objects will get that color for their fill, okay? And you lose kind of the uniqueness of each color or stroke style or anything. All of a sudden they're going to start sharing all these properties, and that's usually not what you want. So be careful that you don't bring up the fill and stroke dialog box when you're working with grouped objects, unless, of course, you want to. That's really it. Uh, I'll go back, hit undo a few times to get back to our group. And that's it. That's how you group and ungroup objects in Inkscape. Thanks for watching.